Alrighty guys, how's it going? This is Tanner Wood back at you with another Minecraft video. So We've got some fun things today. So one thing I want to talk about right before the video starts is you guys may have noticed but our I guess face of the channel has changed. It's no longer this pretty face right here it is now my Kind of new logo i created it a little while ago uh finally got it digitized and i'm really liking it you can see the tw in it and all the different lines coming off of it but that is our new logo our new background uh it's a different photo of the channel as well as the logo in the bottom right corner of the video you're watching right now that watermark so it's all different and i'm loving it Just let me know what you guys think today you can probably see there's a few new buildings. Um, I've been doing so much work off camera, like, is, we'll just walk through it right now. This one is new. So I was trying some things out with this one. Let me know what you guys think. This is kind of the sleeping quarters, is what I was kind of thinking for now for all the villagers, but I kind of went with a different palette. I did all, I, I guess I'm trying to do every block type of thing, I don't know, but I've got the diorite and the uh, granite. And so I'm really liking it because I mix the polish with granite, the brick as well. And then with the diorite, I did polish, diorite, diorite, and iron blocks. So a little bit more expensive and then the roof is all the smooth stone and smooth stone slab which I'm really liking and then black windows. It's kind of been a theme on all of our builds is just doing the black windows. This one doesn't have any windows which I actually really like. I like just having that slab there. I think it looks good. But let me know what you guys think. I've decorated the outside with some plants and there'll be a little pathway going back through here. It's already started up and around. We still have our arrows so that's kind of fun. Yeah, let me know what you guys think and what you think should change, if anything. I'm running out of food. I'm on to chicken. <laughs> like, yeah. And then this building. So this one was also a, kind of a trial, like, building. Like, I've never... I don't know. I did the sand with the smooth sandstone that you cook in the furnace with the sandstone with the chiseled sand... I don't know. I don't know what that one is. But, like... So many different block variants, and then sand, and then end stone. I thought that looked pretty good. Like, it kind of matched and gave a slightly different and then, like, lighter and darker variant to the whole build. I might throw it in a few more places, but I think that matches pretty well. And then I did the black stone over the black windows and the acacia buttons to t try and do, like, classic sandstone, like, the wood running through. And then inside is a black stone, or not black stone, <laughs> is the uh, basalt variants uh, floor, and then spiral up onto fireplaces, which, oh my goodness, these are expensive. Three logs for each fireplace. I had to use like two and a half stacks or two stacks or something like that for this, like, of logs. It's expensive. And then I'm starting this. This is going to be our well for the farming area. And so I'm liking it. I did so many different variants of everything. It's kind of, it's supposed to be a very run down well and just a little bit destroyed. I found something. Finally, I don't, uh, do I have any footage? I don't, I think I have a footage of getting it the second time. So I found a bee. Ooh, it's ready to harvest. Do I have any shear? No, of course I don't. Why would I? Anyways, um, but I was flying way out to the sand area, and that's where he was. And so I flew back here really quick, grabbed the lead, flew back out. It's like 500 blocks away, too. So flew back out, got him, brought him in here, stuck him to a fence over there, built this whole glass room, did triple doors so that there was no way he was getting all the way out. Did all of that. And then, while I was standing over here, I think I was filming something, I don't, I gotta go check, but I was standing right here, Creeper came up, right here, blew up, blew up this whole corner, and he left. Just up and left. 
And so I was like, oh, crap. So I'm looking all over the place. I had to get off for a little while. So I got off, got back on. I was searching everywhere. He had made it all the way, like, over here somewhere. Yeah, he was, like, right around here on the top of this hill. And just flying back out to the sand desert. And so I f hooked him and brought him back. And hopefully nothing like that happens again. So we finally have honey. It's coming. Finally, we need one more bee. And then we can start breeding them. And yeah, but we finally have honey and beehives and all of that fun stuff. So, so yeah. That happened, but okay, I got way distracted. Today, 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 we are going to be in this building. Right here. Fertilizer shop, Skelly Spawner down below. That is what we're doing today. We are making this skeleton farmer into, actually into an AF cable one if we wanted to, but, ooh, hello. <laughs> How did you... Oh, you came from that direction. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how the heck did you get in here? But it came from down there, I guess. I need my sword out. All right. So we want to make this into an actual place. I haven't taken anything out of here yet. Um, there wasn't really a need to, I guess. But we need to strip this thing of all of its cobblestone and everything. And we need to make sure we put back torches as we go. And once again, don't break the spawner. If you break it, it's gone. So be careful when you're mining around it. Don't accidentally break it. Skeleton spawners are valuable, especially for arrows and all of that fun stuff. So we have taken out all the cobblestone, all of that sort of thing. But you want this into a square room. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So right now it is a seven by I think it was an oddly long one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it was two blocks longer than it was wide. So that was kind of odd. I don't think I've ever seen the spawner do that. But it is what it is, I guess. So yeah, so this right now is nine by seven and that's not gonna cut it. So we're gonna want to make this a nine by nine with this dead center. So we wanna take out one block back on each of these walls. Alrighty, so this room is now a nine by nine. Right here is where you'd want to uh, beautify the thing if you want pretty blocks and change out some of these blocks. I don't really care right now. Um, I just, I need arrows, I need bones, so I just want to get this thing done. And so that's kind of what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna try and make this thing look super, super pretty. Um, but if you wanted to, you could do that right now. So if you want to make this a seven by seven, do it. Uh, it doesn't need to be a nine by nine. Uh, it probably should just be a seven by seven. It, really doesn't matter though, um, but right here is where you're going to want two water buckets full and you're going to want to make a water source and all of that. So I will be right back to get that water. Oh crap, baby zombie, baby zombie, baby zombie. Oh, dang it. Uh, freaking babies. No, stop it, you monster. No, don't bring your dad into this. Oh my gosh, I can't hit you. They are so OP. Alright, please leave, please leave, please. Oh no, another baby! Please, 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 please! Oh, we got it. Okay, good. No, don't light me on fire. Oh. My goodness. Oh, there's a skeleton too. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <sighs> Anyways, water buckets. No. You'll actually want to dig down two more blocks. Get this whole thing down to a suitable level. <laughs> you could do one block if you really wanted to. Two blocks just makes it nicer, and I think it 
improves the spawn rates just a little bit. Now that this room is a nine by nine and three blocks below the spawner, you can now place in your water bucket. So you're gonna want to figure out which way you want all of your zombies to go to. So once you figure that out, then you can place in the water bucket. And that way is our place, so we're going to want to go that way. Take your two water buckets, place one in the corner, one two blocks away, and then you can collect from the middle, just like that. So, should all run right to here. This is perfect, because now we're going to take this block out. So, now that you have it like this, you're gonna want another bucket of water. Grab two, place it there, and it's gonna flow this way now. So, now all of your skeletons are going to that point. So, you're going to want to uh, gravel. <laughs> Push them wherever you want to go. So, I'm going to get rid of all of this gravel in this corner. Alrighty, guys. So, we're back down here. I've got 10 fence gates. You probably don't need that many. So, because we did a 9x9, nine nine, water runs 8 blocks. And so, if you did a 7 by seven you will need to put fence gates along this wall to stop the water from running down there but because we did nine by nine it ends right here and then this is the new water stream down here you will need to put one right here and open it if you did a nine by nine if you did a seven by seven it'll be somewhere two blocks further but you don't have to i'm going to just place some packed ice there because that makes it so when they slide they kind of keep sliding a little bit, and then if another one comes, it'll, they'll push each other into the next water stream. So we're gonna get them out here, and then going that direction. So I need to remove these pieces of gravel as well, and do that. So skeletons are only too high, so you only need this to be too high. All the way along here, is just going to be too high. You're going to take your other water bucket, drop it in there, and it'll flow this direction. However far it goes is how far you need to go. So it ends here. I'm going to put a torch there. You're going to need a fence gate there. All right, so you're going to want to put a fence gate, and grab it, where this last block is. So that pushes them a little bit faster. Uh, we couldn't really do it with that other, with this one over here, because we did the nine by nine, and so it's got that bottom block that moves a little bit slower. But if you did the seven by seven, still put the fence gate right here, or put it right there. So that way, because your water will run out to that block if it's a seven by seven. So put it right here, that way anything that falls here still gets pushed. So basically what's gonna happen is our skeletons are gonna fall here and they're gonna stay. Another one will push them in or they'll walk in or they'll walk to this and slowly slide in. So that's kinda how this is gonna work. But if you did a seven by seven, like I said, put it on this outside right there. Then run your water the next block out. So. We now have this waterway coming out to here, where they can slide in. And you can either take this even further if you want, or just go from there. I am going to figure out where exactly our building is, because that's kind of what I want to go off of. And I will be right back. Alrighty guys, so we actually ended up right inside the building with this scaffolding. I'd prefer it behind this desk, but that's not a big deal. We'll do a bubble elevator behind this desk, but that's fine. So let me quickly sleep and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, it's the next day in Minecraft and this is where our skeleton uh, hallway that we're pushing them through ended up. So that's really nice. Right here, right inside our building, that is awesome. So we do not need this ice block there. Basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna have our skeletons drop. And they're gonna drop right here. Not far, nothing like that, but right here. 
and we are going to put a hopper right there. So let me get back up there. So you need a campfire, you need at least one hopper, I'd recommend more, and at least one chest, I would again recommend more. And so we're going to take these down hither <laughs> to where we're going to kill all of our skeletons. Oops, that's not where it goes. That's where the hopper goes. Good job, Tanner. Yeah, don't place this down if you don't have soul sand. Or, er, um, soak touch. My goodness, I cannot talk today. All right, so we're gonna place our hopper this direction because up there we are like three blocks in front of our desk or from behind our desk and we wanna be behind. So we're gonna take it that direction. Place the campfire on top and all of your skeletons are gonna fall right on that campfire. So I'm not worried about the XP for this farm. I don't want it, I don't care for it. I just want to basically make this afk -able. If you want this to be a actual farm that you're killing them, you're gonna want to make a this uh, hallway a lot shorter and make it so they just come right to that end over there. So basically, you're gonna want them to end right up there and they'll come in and then you just kill them so that you still have the spawner on and they're just dying right there. But that's not what we're doing today. We want more so of an AFKable one than anything else. So, whoops, I missed a block because there's a torch. All right, so you're gonna wanna fill this whole hallway that they fall down in. Gonna take this hopper, set it right there, fill this in. That chamber is now sealed off. Now you can take your chest, if you would like, and place it here so anything that goes in just pops out right in the chest. I'm not gonna do that. So I don't want to come down here every time I wanna collect my skeletons. I just don't. I want to have all of my skeleton product, <laughs> all of the bones and arrows and all of that stuff brought to me behind the desk. So we were three blocks, I believe, so it would be right here. We're gonna wanna go one more block, make it four, have them pop out right here, and then we'll do a chest system right there. So you're going to want to make a bubble elevator right here. It goes all the way up to wherever you're wanting to go. And right where this pot is, sorry pot, you have to go. We'll just dig straight down, because we know where we're going to end up. I hope, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Wait, what? This is not, oh, there it is. I was like, this is not, no, nope, this isn't it either. Where, what? I'm off. At least I know where I am. Ouch, that almost killed me. Oh, Enderman, I almost looked at him. Maybe I did. Oh crap, I did. Nope. Oh, that's sneaky, sneaky Enderman. Uh, okay, let's just run. Ooh, I also did something else that you're gonna see right here for like two seconds. <laughs> I can't believe, ah, uh, dang it. I did not mean to look at that Enderman at all. Oh, he's right here. Okay, hello, goodbye. <sighs> Collect all my stuff. I think that was everything. All right, so do you guys wanna see what I did or should we just keep going? Well, we're gonna pass by it anyways and we're actually going to use it. So you're gonna see it anyways. You can actually already see it. So I'm debating on stripping these logs or not. I'm not 100% sure, but basically this is going to be our tower going down to our dungeon. Yes, we're gonna have a dungeon. This is a castle, we have to have a dungeon. So I've made this entire spiral staircase all the way up. 
and around in this tower, which I'm actually really happy about, really liking it. I'm debating on stripping these logs or not, not sure 100%, but yeah, it's turning out pretty well. Anyways, let's get back to it. Um, I I haven't checked this. Oh my goodness. Ooh, we're getting so much stuff. Holy cow. Okay, um, sorry. Sidetrack. We're backed up on slime. We're like seriously backed up. All right, we're gonna leave it at that. I've got to go do other stuff. All right, so we're basically going... Crap, how do we get in there? I guess we need to check up on this anyways, see how it's doing. All right, so we're gonna break through right here. Ooh, there's a zombie in there. I forgot to light it up. My bad. And he's holding a slime ball. Yeah, that's right. So there is a slight loss. There's a f chance that a couple slime can uh, balls can land there, but it's not a terrible loss. Like it didn't bother me. Um, yeah, there's a chance that slime can land there. Anyway, so we need to rebuild this right here, this entire system. And like I said, if you guys missed it, this is by Cube Hamster, and go watch the last episode to see exactly how it's done. I've already forgotten, so <laughs> that's why. Hopefully, I can make it and not have any issues. So, woo, ouch. Where oh, are you serious? Oh, okay. Can't believe that out of all the places I could have landed, I landed in there. Alrighty guys, so to build this you're gonna need dispenser, building blocks, redstone dust, two comparators, and then you're going to need a water bucket, some kelp, and a soul sand. So yeah, you're gonna need those for the bubble elevator that it's going to shoot out into, and then the rest is to actually shoot the items. So let's hop back down in there and build this all up. We're going to want to dig out a place for this to be in. Ah. That's where I was digging. This is where our bubble elevator is going to be. So you can put your soul sand right there. And that is where it's going to be. So you're going to want to have blocks there. And then the dispenser will probably be, oops. I'm really bad at placing these things. There we go. It's gonna sit right there, but you're going to want to build the device. So we're going to build it off the back this way. So if we dig all this out. All right, now off of this, we're going to want our comparator, a block. You're gonna want another one right here. Yeah, right there. And then you're going to want some redstone dust there, 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 and there. Another block, another block. And I believe that's it. Let's find out. Okay, something went wrong. There it goes, you want to click this once. So that now should shoot out every single redstone dust that's in there, sweet. All right, so that works. You're gonna to wanna to place a hopper running into that, and then you're going to want to place some blocks 
running upward to the ceiling. Boom and boom. Make sure that still works. Okay, it still works. And this is your system. Sweet. It is all set, ready to go. It is done. All right, so last thing is the water and the kelp. So if you don't know how to do this, you can place a water bucket, oop, not there, there, but it's not gonna actually do anything because there is, it's not solid blocks all the way down. It's just this top. So you've got to use your kelp and kelp will turn things into a solid block. So you go click the bottom and just click all the way as you go to the top. Now, those are all solid blocks of water. Shoot all the way back down to the bottom here and break the bottom one. It will shoot you up and out. And that is your bubble elevator. So we're gonna have to build a system up on top here, which we're going to need some glass for, cause I want to be able to see it. It's always kind of fun. All right, so you don't want panes. Sadly, that is something that has to change right here is getting rid of these panes, which is a bummer because it looks good with the panes, but you want blocks. So you're gonna want to do solid blocks just like that. I'm going to do it too high. It just, it's fun to watch them shoot up and then over. <laughs> All right, so the hopper's in the floor. Obviously that makes it so that the chest has to also be in the floor, which is always annoying, but is what it is. And luckily you can still open it when it sits like this. But we're gonna turn these into slabs, which I don't think I have on me right now. But let's finish building this off. So you're going to want to turn all of these, or I'm gonna want to turn all of these into glass blocks because panes don't work. They're a pain. Ha ha, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not funny at all. All right, so that is going to be our system. Now we're gonna to wanna to take this bubble elevator up one more block, which I need to go and get. Click it there. Now anything that comes up is going to go right in there. Including glass panes, obviously. So that's how that works. You could adjust this however you want it type of thing. Um, it's a little bulky, which is frustrating. You could do this as well. And just have it like that. And then you can get rid of this and this and turn these into a solid block if you wanted to. So that shoots up and then immediately goes over um, completely up to you. And I'm gonna click it there and there. Now I have access to that and it looks a little bit better. And if we get rid of this one, I am going to just set that there for now. So we know where it is to access it if we ever need to. But we are going to want to come down into this one now. And one thing that's going to be really nice once 1.17 comes out is tinted glass. So if you don't know, tinted glass makes it so that you can having light. So tinted glass makes it so you can see through it, but no light comes through. So you could AFK right here with a big glass wall looking in at everything spawning with tons of light around you, but no light will shine in here. So it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna put a glass pane there. I am going to break all of this stuff, which I don't care if I collect it because it's all gonna go down and in there. This is also a great item collector because it shoots through. Okay, something got stuck, that's annoying. Anyways, so I'm gonna come back over here, finish placing glass there. You don't have to use glass, you can do whatever you want. That just makes it so they can't spawn on top. They usually don't, but it is an occasional thing. And you're gonna want to come in here and break the torches now. <laughs> the fun and scary part, cause now they can start to spawn. I am going to make myself a little cubby hole here cause I need to break this down. 
and continue breaking torches. Ah, okay. Okay, one spawned. Uh, I don't have food for this. Should eventually, once he stops seeing me, just fall in. Nope. Dang it, he saw me again. Uh, Alright, we might as well just start digging up to our place up here. Yeah, make sure you've got food for when they do spawn, because they will spawn. Alright, we just have to do this quick. Destroy, destroy. Destroy, destroy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's another one. Gone. Gone. All right. So now we want to fill in that hole right here. There. So the only other thing is we've got to figure out where our AFK spot can be so that... Ha ha ha. Alright, so let's take as much out of here as we can, and then we can see when they die, all their stuff will come up here. So now we've got to switch to our camera account and figure out where our 16 blocks is, the radius, so that we can have this thing on, or we could just literally stand right above here and AFK right here. So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just make this an AFK spot because we know that this is within 16 blocks. See, it is on. So this is where the spawner is. We can make this the AFK spot. Get rid of all these torches. Ooh, this is dark. I didn't realize how dark it was over here. We don't need that right now, so we're just gonna fill it in. But if we got rid of all these torches, just had torches out here, filled in all of these spots, and then we could stand here and watch. Ah, I've got torches down there. Dang. Oh, that's not gonna be fun. Dang it. <laughs> I mean, it seems to be working even though there's a torch over there. They just can't spawn over on that side. Um, <sighs> okay, maybe I'll go get that later. But this is the skeleton farm. So it's actually kind of fun to stand on here and look down and see all of the uh, skeletons spawning and then going off. Um, we could turn this all into glass too, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, fight each other. <laughs> They're gonna kill each other. Then we can watch everything, so that's kinda fun. Let's just do that. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I'm so close to death. So yeah, they'll fall in and kind of push each other. So like that one landed off from that corner, but they'll push each other through. And it might be a little bit of a bottleneck there, but they'll eventually just kind of push themselves and push each other. Oh yeah, that's pitch black now. Now, yeah, you can only see barely because they're white heads, um, but you can see their bows. So that should spawn a lot better now. Um, it would spawn even better if I blocked off all of the lighting everywhere, like all the lighting up here, but that'll be our AFKing spot, so I'd say this is working pretty good. We're getting bone meal, or bones, which is our fertilizer. So we can now get rid of this sign, and there's our block. And we collected a bone. 44 bones so far from all of that. Not bad. So, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. This is our fertilizer shop and that is a AFKable skeleton farm. So next episode we might actually tweak it so that we're able to turn off the AFKing system and make it so we can go down and kill them so we can get tons of arrows. But for now, I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm a fan, and so yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and I hope you do join us for the next episode. And you guys have a great day. We shall see you a next time. And thank you guys so much for all that you do and sticking around to the end of the video. So, I hope you guys join us for that next video. And thank you. Thank you so much. It's been so much fun building all of this and the feedback and the input and everything from you guys. It's just made it a lot easier. I've had a lot of mental health things going on lately and it's been really nice to have a community um, that supports me and that we can have a lot of fun on this world and this channel and uh, it's nice to kind of get back to some of these videos sorry I've been very very sporadic with them and it probably will continue for just a little bit longer till I can get more of a routine and figure some things out but thank you guys so much for watching and joining me but uh, this world is really coming together and I'm really loving our castle and designs and just everything we're doing if you guys want to see something specific let me know and i will try my best to build it but thank you and sorry for all the distractions <laughs> but we'll see you guys in the next video bye